wag kayong mag-subscribe sa G Fiber Prepaid. Okay? So for reason number one, if you're a content creator, video editor, and any person na magmove ng malalaking files from your PC to the internet or your internet to the PC. You're downloading or you're uploading large files, especially mga video or content. Bakit? Kasi yung G5 or prepaid is only up to 50 Mbps for now. Yung 50 Mbps, pag nag-move ka ng 1 gig na file, medyo matagal po yun comparing sa 200 Mbps na G5 or prepaid na uh, postpaid plan. So yun, yun yung difference. 50 Mbps will be limit. Although, kaya naman mag-upload ng up to ilang gig, pero yung time na kinukonsume mo, kasi limited ka lang to 50 Mbps, yan yung kailangan mong i-consider sa G Fiber prepaid. That's the reason number one. Reason number two, kung nagbebenta ka ng internet sa bahay. Reselling internet was never allowed using the G-Fiber prepaid. Bakit? Kasi due to its limit, papalik pa rin tayo dun sa 50 Mbps, pag marami kang user, 50 Mbps will not be enough. Kasi nga, marami na yung magkagamit sa linya. So, yun, mag-stream sila, mag-games, yan. Maglalag po yun pag more than 10 subscribers ng piso wifi nyo. Kaya, that's reason number two. If you're reselling. Number three is if you're working from home and you're hosting. Ibig sabihin, mahilig ka mag-conference, mag-live streaming, or mag, ano, live ng gaming. Kasi, games and live are limited. Kasi yun nga, babalik ka din sa 50 Mbps. So yun, if you're working from home, make sure na mag-subscribe ka doon sa postpaid na fiber. Bakit? Mas madali siyang, mas mabilis. Kasi 200 Mbps. Tapos, meron ring mga company specific speed ng internet. Once ma-check nila na 50 Mbps lang yun, magdadalawang isip na yan. So, if you are working from home, G-Fiber prepaid might not be your first choice. But, it can be the backup connectivity. Yun. Reason number three. Reason number four is kung napakarami yung gumagamit sa bahay kasi yung sa website is up to 6 devices lang yung G Fiber prepaid. So, 6 devices that includes mobile phone, cell phone, and oh, even if naka-enable yung LAN, yun nga, 6 devices lang yung ina-allow nila. Pero, meron tayong video na pwede natin ma-extend yung Wi-Fi devices up to ilan ng gusto nyo, up to 10 or 32 devices. But, Sa technology na Wi-Fi is meron pa rin siyang limit due to bandwidth constraint. Bandwidth constraint sa Wi-Fi naman. Okay? So that's reason number four. Reason number five, kung meron kayong mga budget sa internet talaga. Kasi yung prepaid Wi-Fi is wala siyang billing. So wala kang official statement kasi prepaid nga siya. Ikaw yung kusang maglo-load. Kung kailangan nyo ng proof of billing para sa company nyo. So, yun yung kailangan. Yung postpaid kasi nagpapadala sa laga sila ng official billing with breakdown and official receipt during payment. Kaya, yun nga. Kung kailangan nyo ng internet G-Fiber prepaid. So, that's the five reason. So, ano ba yung option nyo? If hindi kayo mag G-Fiber prepaid. So G-Fiber prepaid, 
let's go to the G Fiber Postpaid in which meron tayong lowest plan na 1299, 100 Mbps, ma 1499, depende sa lugar. So yun, magaganda po yung plan nun in which currently sa bahay nakasubscribe ako sa 1799, 200 Mbps, Wi-Fi 6 na modem, yun nga. Kung kailangan nyo ng Wi-Fi 6 na modem, hindi pa yan in-offer sa G Fiber Prepaid. Yan yung ano, isa lang na caveat dun sa G Fiber Prepaid versus the Postpaid Services. In terms naman of network, it's the same network they're using but in different authentication. So, yun. Napakaganda. Wi-Fi 6 is only available sa Postpaid for now. Yung sa G Fiber Prepaid, since budgeted, yun nga, limited yung capability ng Wi-Fi modem. Pero, expect ka pa rin na napaka, napakagandang service comparing siya sa wireless LTE. Kasi ngayon talaga, LTE is your only option if you're mobile, on mobile. Kasi kung sa bahay ka naman, G Fiber prepaid na or G Fiber postpaid is your right choice. Regardless of ano, meron ring mga kung anong available na fiber internet sa lugar nyo, huwag nyong ilimit yung sarili nyo. Pwede nyo rin mag-subscribe dun para mas sulit yung customer experience sa internet. So, ano ba talaga yung mga kinukonsume nyo sa internet? Pa-share naman sa comment. If meron kayong nagustuhan sa video na to, pa-share rin sa comment. Huwag nyong ilimit yung sarili nyo. Pa-share rin sa mga friends nyo na meron pang planong magpakabit ng internet connectivity. Kasi ngayon, internet becomes a utility. So, para rin siyang tubig, korente, at internet. Kung wala ka dong tatlo, you belong to the what level. Okay? I hope yun nga. Maraming salamat and I hope this video you find it informational and patulong na lang rin may share sa mga kapatid natin dyan na nag-iisip pa kung G Fiber prepaid ba or postpaid yung kukunin nilang internet connectivity sa bahay. So, yun nga. Let's mark it and let's keep the internet safe. Meron rin akong video dyan, how to keep your children safe from the internet. So, I hope na protektahan nyo rin yung mga bata nyo when it comes to internet. Kasi, para ang internet is addictive rin kasi. Para rin siyang drugs na months na mara, ma overuse, uh, magiging masamang effect rin yan. So, guys, watch out your kids and not only kids but also the olders who are already addicted sa internet. Meron tayong video on how to control them and share. Right? See you around.